So this is my off-season 2019-20 golf bag. This is what it will look like probably till about a week before I go to a tournament. So I have two drivers, two fairway woods, um, two three woods, two shafts, and um, actually, believe it or not, new wedges. So we're going to try those out. So this is kind of all, this is the time that I like to test all my stuff in the off season. I have four weeks till my next tournament. It gives me a week of testing, another week of playing with it, and then two weeks of prep time. So right now we got the new ST200 and then my old ST190 uh, right here. I had a great season with this driver. This thing's really gonna have to perform to beat it, but there's a good chance after the first numbers. Two different shafts, because if you always have a new head, it's never performing exactly the same as the old one. So if you put the old shaft in the new head, sometimes it's not as good, and that's not the head's fault, because that shaft is not made for the new head. So I have two additional shafts to put in the ST200 to see how those work out. Um, got the new fairway woods in. Those typically aren't as big as a shaft bias because you're trying to get a yardage and you're not trying to get distance. I want to hit my five wood the exact distance as my old five wood and just you know maybe tweak some spin and some height if something's not right. But usually those are already dialed in, so we want those to be the same. Um, already got the new MP20s in play. Um, my caddy Pete's not here, so they're a little dirty, so I'm going to blame him for that. Um, but MP20s, love them. Um, I've actually sw have played the uh, MP4s, MP18s, and now the MP20s, played all three of them. All have been great irons. Gotten better each year, truly, with the copper in this one. A little softer, definitely a great performing iron. And then um, I actually, I have the uh, pitch and wedge iron, and I had to change my lofts when I went to one of these because an iron head goes a little bit farther than a wedge head. So this actually went back from 48 to 47. Um, or excuse me, from 46 to 40, uh, 47 um, to give me that right distance. Because on wedges, you're trying to hit yardages and not trying to gain yardages. And then here we go, the um, the T20s. Um, Kyle, the club builder, and I put a little lead tape on here just because I have a very funky uh, weight that I like on my wedges and pretty particular. So um, we just did some difference work in the, in the weight of the head. And that's why we have a little bit of lead tape on there. It kind of looks kind of cool too. Um, and then you got a uh, putter. I've been trying to get them to give me the old school Scotty Cameron Mizuno putters. Sometimes they just don't, you know, those are real hard to find the closets, but I'm still working on them. And uh, that's it. So it'll probably, probably be finalized here in about two weeks of what I'm going to use for the next season. And it'll be rare, very rare that I change anything from January to the next off season, just because I like to be able to blame myself and not my clubs. So if I get my clubs exactly how I want them between now and then, the only time I'll change is if, you know, there's a different shaft that I might need or a different wedge grind, but it's very, very rare that I'll change. So yeah, I have four wedges here. Um, and I go 59, 54, 50, 47, 43 and a half on my nine iron and 40 on my eight iron. The reason I do that is most of my wedge uh, yardages into par fours are between 175 and down. It's just the majority. So I've actually compressed all my lofts from my eight iron down to my 50 degree. So I have and a 40, 43 and a half, 47 and a 50. I have four clubs and a 10 um, degree gap because that's the majority of where I hit all my clubs. So I actually have a very, a lot less dispersion so I don't have to take some off or try to hit one club farther. I actually can take normal swings and um, get a lot tighter uh, yardage gap. Yeah, I like Rusty. He doesn't have glare. A lot of times when you have that 59, 60, whatever your lob wedge may be, you're, you're opening it and turning it and if the sun's at a weird angle, you never want it in your eyes. Um, that's really it. I don't think it has that much to do with performance, maybe maybe a little bit, um, just in terms of you know what feel-wise to you, and, um, not really performance, and I just uh, prefer the look of raw.